drive the team? Um, oh, I mean, it's a nice thing to hear, but to be honest, I, I didn't really know that that was the case. Um, but it's, yeah, it's great. It was a, a really good performance for us to, to put together collectively. And um, yeah, look, we knew that you were going to go through through moments that were tough, the pitch offered, and um, and it was great that we were able to find the edge and, and take our catches for the most part. Um, and then as we know, there are shifts in the game and they're always going to happen no matter where you are on the scoreboard. And and the West Indies middle and lower order played really, really nice. And um, we had to, to put in for long periods um, with the ball in hand and we really showed that patience today, which was great to see because that's... Um, obviously what you expect um, coming into sort of day three and four on a, on a surface that's perhaps improving, yeah. Do you have any hesitation in forcing a follow on a situation like that, kind of considering bowler fatigue and fielding fatigue? Yeah, that, um, hopefully it wasn't too much fielding fatigue, although you might disagree. Um, but yeah, bowling fatigue was, was the, the main concern and um, the bowlers all said they're ready to go and, and I, from my perspective it was just trying to manage them in slightly shorter spells but because of the, the weather um, that was sort of I think expected tomorrow and, and also the way the surface was still offering to the, the same bowlers we felt it was the best time to, to give ourselves an opportunity to take wickets and, and you know it proved to be the case um, although we you know obviously with um, Jermaine with a fantastic 100 and Azari as well playing really really nicely um, you know, made us work very hard to try and break that partnership and, and it was great that the guys stuck with it for that long period to, to get that reward. What's it like having those four quicks at your disposal basically? Yeah, I mean, on a surface like that, it's particularly nice. Uh, the way it, the ball swung and, and obviously a little bit of nip as well, but um, Nicks were, were carrying throughout, which was great, and that's you know compliments to the surface. Where I, I suppose the last time we were here, it, it wasn't the case. So it was um, a, a really fair cricketing wicket, and it was nice that the guys were able to get the rewards for their putting the ball in the right area for for long periods. So having the the resource of four fast bowlers was was nice, and obviously Daryl as well, which he can he can bowl nicely on those sorts of wickets too. Jumping ahead quite early, quite a bit, but is the temptation again to look at that sort of similar lineup for, for the basic? Um, when we get to Wellington, we'll just have to have a look at the surface and, and see um, what we think is best fit for, for the next match. Hey, is the side looking forward to the World Test Championships, and do you envision any strategic changes for Lords? Um, well, look, it's there's a lot of cricket before you know that potential reality, and um, you know Lords would be. Uh, a great place to play. Uh, obviously, that would mean you're in the final. But um, you know, we're not getting ahead of ourselves, and it was nice we were able to put in a strong performance this game. And for us, it's always just trying to to improve little bits at a time. And, and we'll have that opportunity to try and do things a little bit better in, in Wellington, and, and keep trying to adapt to the changes and conditions, which is just a constant in, in Test cricket. And um, you know and just try and stick to those roles and those plans. It was great after such a long break that we're able to put out you know, a strong first test performance, but um, the international schedule just keeps coming thick and fast when, it, when it's on, and it's on at the moment. So you know, that is a, a big thing for us, is to keep trying to improve as a group. Kane, is this an easy team to motivate? For example, coming to the second test, you've had a good one in Is this an easy team to, to get up again and, and do the same thing? Um, yeah, look, I think obviously having such a long break, the, the motivation was, was there, the excitement to, to get out and, and play and, and go through, you know, all the emotions that Test cricket brings and, and the challenges that it brings. And, and we saw that throughout and um, the effort that had to go in to try and break the, the partnership there that the West Indies put together, which, um, you know, it's tough, but it, it's great. And the guys love Test cricket. And so they'll be looking forward to the, the next opportunity. Obviously for us, we, we sort of, you know, don't play perhaps as much test cricket as some of the, the other nations. So I know when it does come around, the, the guys do very much look forward to that and they're looking forward to Wellington too. A couple of balls in that second innings hit the turf that you probably would have rather didn't. I noticed that the bowlers never show any frustration and catches go down, and that's quite rare. Is that something that's drilled into the team or are they just naturally quite uh, philosophical when it comes to that? Um, it's probably complementary of the, the group. Um, important that 
yeah, we always know guys don't try to drop catches and, and therefore, you know, your reaction perhaps needs to reflect that. Um, and also going into games of cricket, that, that can happen. And although it can be frustrating and, and it obviously is on the inside, um, you know, if you're right getting behind your, your teammates, you know, that perhaps they might take a, a specky that, that might not have um, on another day. And that's just the, the game of cricket. and. And so the guys have been very, very good at that and, and catching everything perhaps in the first innings and, and not so much in the second. And, um, you know, an area that we want to just keep improving on and, and keep working on. But um, the effort's always there, so, you know, it's important to remember that. Do you expect them to be better in the second test? They obviously struggled in conditions that favour your bowlers. Do you expect them to, to learn something from, from this test? I mean, we, we know the quality that they have in their side. Um, I think whenever you, you get a test under your belt, uh, coming off a, you know a break or a volume of perhaps um, white ball cricket, then um, there's going to be lessons to to build on and try and take into the next performance. And and like us, I'm, I'm sure they'll be trying to do that and, and putting out stronger performances. Cool. All right. Thanks very much. Cheers, guys.